The former Drury's complex in South Bend will be demolished. Nine of the 12 buildings on the old brewery property will have to be torn down. WSBT 22's Danielle Kennedy is here. And Danielle, this was all decided just a couple of hours ago at a code enforcement hearing. That lasted almost two hours, Jennifer. This property has been a focus of many code enforcement hearings in the past, but now the city claims the property is in such bad shape, something has to be done. Code enforcement ordered the owner to fix some of the buildings and tear the rest down. 44 years. And everybody's gone in and they've scrapped out what they could and this piece and that piece. Day by day as the former Drury's Brewery Complex continues to fall apart. You know, we have cosmetic issues that is easy to throw a patch on. That's easy. We got a building falling down. We got stairways hanging three stories in the air. That's not a repair to me. For nearly the past two years, Steve Durkee from Arizona has been in charge of making those repairs. We thought we had a fund of support to uh, help offset cleanup costs and we found that that was not the case. Jerky says he's made thousands of dollars in improvements like fixing gas lines and repairing broken fences to make the complex more secure. He's at the end of the line. There's nothing left to take and uh, you know you buy these things with speculations you're gonna get money out of the land and, and unfortunately the city is at its end with this as well. Neighbors are feeling the same frustrations. You drive in that area and the first thing you see is overgrowth. If you're not going to repair the buildings, then tear them all down because they are a blight and they have been a blight on that neighborhood for 20 years. Decades passing with owners coming and going. If this has been the approach in the past, then it's no wonder that people have walked away from this property. Maybe this time the outcome produces a different view for the better. The residents have spoken, the city council has spoken, this building has to go away. 44 years, it's been unsafe, it's time to go. The owner has until October to come up with a demolition plan. Work is expected to begin by the end of December. If that doesn't happen, the owner could face a $5,000 civil penalty per building. Jennifer, the owner, told me today he plans to sell the property for redevelopment once the buildings are demolished.